So I got a new car for the range, but the only problem is we got to get it to the range. My dad's in the car and uh, we're going to try to make it through here. <laughs> oh my gosh, go faster! Faster, faster, faster! Faster! Oh my gosh! Oh, not my motorcycle. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna have some more fun with the 10 gauge. So when we did that video, I never broke out the 12 gauge to compare it to. So today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 10 gauge versus 12 gauge. I've got us a bunch of stuff to shoot. Let's go get set up and get started. Before we start blasting stuff, I wanna say thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Bespoke Post is a monthly subscription service that sends you a themed box to your house every month. There's a lot of subscription services out there, but I like this one because I like variety and I like to be surprised. So when you first sign up, which is free by the way, you take a survey and then every month they send you a box related to that survey, which you said you like and don't like. Now it could be anything from outdoor gear, home and kitchen goods, clothing, etc it's always gonna be something different because the boxes are ever changing. Now you can see what's coming, and if you don't like it, you can swap it out or you can even skip a month. It's over $70 retail, sometimes more than that, but you pay 45 bucks a month. I have two boxes here, let's check them out. Buck and Bear Knives. Woo, that is really, really pretty. Now let's open this one. Explore box. You got a water bottle. A survival LED headlamp. <laughs> Cold shower cooling field towels. Oh, that's got some mint or something in it. And last, we have a Nomad packable backpack. So you can pack the backpack into a smaller pack or you can unfold it out into a backpack. So again, a big thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Really cool stuff. Be sure and check them out. There's a link in the description down below. All right, let's start out with some water jugs. I'm gonna line up six. We'll shoot it with the 12 gauge, see how many would make it through. Then we'll hit it with the 10 gauge. So this is a Rock Island Armory VR PA40 12 gauge shotgun. And what's cool about it is it's mag fed. Holds five in the bag. This is a Remington Slugger, one ounce, 12 gauge slug. Let's see how many water jugs we make it through. All right, I have to squat down pretty low. <laughs> Hopefully we caught it. Well, it looks like we did. Where's that the wad? No, it's a wad. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, went through five. Six. Looks like we stopped in six. Bam! That's what we got left. All right, so we went through five water jugs and we stopped at number six. Let's see if we can do better with the 10 gauge. Okay, gonna have to get low again. Oh! <laughs> that kicks so much harder than the 12 gauge. So we got one, two, three, four, and looks like the round may have shot out the side or something, because we definitely, well, no, that's cracked. No, it's not in there. Darn it. 
We did not catch it. Oh, I think that's it right there. <laughs> that is a big chunk of lead. And we don't have enough water jugs to do that test again. But I'm gonna shoot them anyways. Okay, so we didn't get a good answer with the water jugs because we weren't able to catch a 10 gauge slug in the water jug. So now let's try out some cinder blocks. Okay, 12 gauges up first. Well. One cinder block, I guess. One of them. All right, surprisingly, the 12 gauge only made it through one, so now let's try the 10 gauge. Oh. All right, well, the 10 gauge definitely won that one. Gosh, what a mess. Yeah, it blew through both of those. I may, maybe I should have set up one more. All right, you've seen me shoot gravy before. This is a six pound can of white gravy and it's pretty eventful. So we're gonna shoot one can with the 12 gauge and one can with the 10 gauge. There's not really a way to judge this other than your opinion. So comment down below, did 12 gauge or 10 gauge do better? Boop. Okay, here we go. Oh, darn it! I got gravy on my gun and I got gravy on my shoulder. Well, I can't scoot back now because I already shot it with the 12 gauges close, so it would be unfair for me to scoot back, so I guess I'll get some more gravy on me. Oh, God! <laughs> I actually made it out okay. I don't think I have any new gravy on me. And I think our 10 gauge is all right. So which one did better? Show you an instant replay real quick. Here's 12 gauge. And here's 10 gauge. Which one did a better job? A glove. All right. I told you we got this car for us to have some fun with. That's what we're going to do today. Now I am going to be using this car in a particular video with a particular rifle. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to try to disable it, but not today. Today we're going to have some fun with it. It's going to shoot through the doors. So I've got the windows rolled up, so we should be okay. Shouldn't bust the glass out. But we're going to see how many doors we can make it through with the shotguns. So we'll shoot here and here. Will it make it through one door or two doors? We'll see, they may both 12 gauge and 10 gauge make this blow through both doors, I don't know. But regardless, we're gonna shoot the car. So I'm trying to get to 100,000 followers on Instagram. I'm at 70,000. Now, if we can get to 100,000 on Instagram, I'm gonna post a clip of me getting tased in training. It's hilarious, I know you wanna see it. So out of 1.17 million of you, I know that there's gonna be 30,000 of you who have an Instagram account. So go follow me, get me to 100K, and then you're gonna see me get tased. 
Now, let's shoot through these doors, 12 gauges first. Go like right here. Let's go check it out. All right, well, <laughs> that's a big hole. That's where we hit. Came through this side. There's a piece of the lead. It's hot. Went straight across. We about took our whole bumper off uh, when we hit that table. <laughs> yeah, oh man. Yeah, we made it through the other side with the 12 gauge. Oh, this wasn't opening before. <laughs> it works. So we went in right there. And we came through the other side. We made it through both car doors with the 12 gauge slug. So I assume the 10 gauge is going to make it through the doors. We really don't even have to shoot the car, but we totally got to shoot the car. You can definitely tell a difference in the hole size. Well, there's where we hit with the 10 gauge and you can see there's a pretty big difference in hole size. <laughs> Knocked off some paint and the wad even put a dent in this door. That's hilarious. All right, door still opens. Whew, and it stinks. So there's where we hit. Got a little bit of crap in our seat there. And yes, we did, wait. Did we make it through? Okay, so looks like we hit right there. And it appears we made it through the car. And I'm pretty sure that that is a piece of the slug. It's kind of confusing though, because I've got this one right here, but then there's also a big chunk of lead right here that looks like it's from a slug. It appears the 10 gauge made it through the door, but maybe just like half the slug made it through the door. I'm not sure. Regardless, it looks like the 12 gauge actually made it through both doors a lot cleaner. You also got to factor in the components inside these doors. So the 12 gauge may have made it through both doors without hitting anything but sheet metal. And the 10 gauge may have hit more stuff on its way through both doors. Not exactly scientific, but it's a lot of fun. enjoyed today's video not gonna lie I'm really excited about the car I don't think it's gonna last very long but it's gonna be a lot of fun if you enjoyed today's video do me a favor and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics make sure you hit that subscribe button also be sure and check me out on patreon Facebook Instagram and Twitter and be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website KentuckyBallistics.com again my name is Scott thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you next time <laughs>